Aloha everyone, I'm Irma Van Dyken, MD from Out of the Doldrums. Let's talk about mushrooms, edible mushrooms to be precise. You know, like mushrooms you can buy at the grocery store and put in your meals, things like white button mushrooms, portabella, all that. There's a lot of health benefits to mushrooms, but today I really want to dial in on how mushrooms can affect your microbiome. The human microbiome is a very fascinating topic and it's one of my favorites. There's so much research on this coming out every day, and we're learning that it really plays a huge role in our overall health. Recently, I took a microbiome test, which is really amazing. Amazing because did you know the first microbiome sequencing occurred in 2003? And it was astronomically expensive, could only be done in specialized labs, and it took a really long time to get results. Now, you can get a test for under $100 and you generally get your results within a few weeks. To me, the advance in technology is mind-blowing. So, back to the test. I wanted to take a moment to thank Ombre Labs for sponsoring this video. They reached out and asked me to try their microbiome test, and I was really impressed by the ease of use and quick turnaround time. The test generates a microbiome report which is quite detailed even to the detail of which specific bacterial species need to be increased for better microbial health. The interesting thing is they go as far as to recommend foods to eat and avoid in order to improve your parameters. These are all research-based with links to the science behind the recommendation. You know I love the science behind their recommendations. As a matter of fact, one of the results I got from my test was that eating mushrooms could help improve certain populations of good bacteria in my gut microbiome. That's what gave me the idea for this video topic. If you're struggling with your health, maybe you have bloating, constipation, or abdominal pain, and you can't figure out what the cause is, the answer might literally be found in your gut. Or maybe you feel like you have a weak immune system and you're constantly getting sick your microbiome may be to blame. Your gut microbiome contains trillions of bacteria, both good and bad. When your body doesn't have enough good bacteria, the bad bacteria flourish. When this happens, you can start getting symptoms and health issues. Ombre Labs makes it really easy to measure your gut health by offering an at-home test that can measure your bacteria levels. They do this by testing your poop. The test will ship straight to your door with easy, how to collect instructions. Don't worry, it's all very sanitary. Upon receiving your results, Ombre Lab will give you a detailed breakdown of all your gut bacteria, the health issues it may be causing, and what specific foods you need to consume more or less of to improve your health. For me, I learned that I need to incorporate more mushrooms into my diet to improve my microbiome. Ombre will even develop personalized probiotics to heal your gut with a subscription. So, if you're struggling with your health and you want to see if your poop has the answers, visit tryombre.com slash out of the doldrums to get $30 off your first test. To get this great discount, click the link in the description below. And thanks so much in advance, it really helps support our channel. So, back to mushrooms in the microbiome. It recently came to my attention that edible mushrooms, along with other specific foods of course, can drastically improve your microbiome. Mushrooms have been used for food and medicinal purposes since, well, the beginning of humanity. There's evidence of mushrooms being used by the Iceman, that mummified human that was found in the Swiss Alps. He carried with him a wrapper or skin made of mushrooms. It was thought to hold the embers of his fire as he traveled. The ancient Egyptians also have records of eating mushrooms and using them medicinally. We know mushrooms are healthful when included in a balanced diet. For one, they're rich in polysaccharides like beta-glucans that have a whole range of health benefits, including stimulating the immune system. It's actually these beta-glucans that many scientists think are the most responsible compound for the health benefits of mushrooms. Mushrooms have a high protein content, up to 44.9%, and they also contain fiber, vitamins, and trace minerals. Additionally, mushrooms are very high in prebiotics, which are food ingredients that can promote the growth of beneficial or good gut bacteria. Here are a few of the health benefits of mushrooms. Lowering cholesterol levels, lowering blood pressure, anti-inflammatory, liver protection, blood glucose stabilization, 
as well as having antiviral and antibacterial properties. Let's talk about mushrooms and how they specifically relate to the gut microbiome. What effects can eating mushrooms have on our microbiome? We have to go back to the prebiotic properties of mushrooms. By nature, prebiotics are compounds that are not digestible by us as humans. They go through our gut undigested by us until they encounter our gut bacteria. It's these bacteria that digest and ferment these compounds into chemicals that are good for our health. In other words, these chemicals are not present in the mushrooms themselves. The bacteria in our gut breaks down the mushroom to create these healthy compounds. There's two categories of prebiotic compounds found in mushrooms, polysaccharides and terpenes. Polysaccharides in mushrooms include chitin, hemicellulose, mannins, alpha and beta glucans, galactans, and xylans. These all help stimulate and modulate the immune system. Terpenes, the other compound, have been shown to have an impact on neurodegenerative diseases, and they have antibacterial, antiviral, antiparasitic, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-cancer properties. Let's look at one example of the mushroom, the humble Agaricus bosporus, also known as the common white button mushroom you can buy at the store. A study in mice demonstrated that white button mushrooms increase the good gut bacteria, the bacteroidetes. The same study showed that white button mushrooms protected the gut from injury and the inflammation resolved much faster after the injury. Scientists concluded that eating white button mushrooms likely results in direct stimulation of the innate immune system. This reduces inflammation and improves GI health by limiting the damage that occurs following injury or infection. Another study was done on healthy adults. Two groups were randomized. One group consumed a white button mushroom diet and the other group consumed a meat diet, which essentially consisted of red meat. This study found that the mushroom eaters had a healthier gut microbiome profile, meaning a greater abundance of bacteroidetes and lower abundance of firmicutes. What about other mushrooms? Well, we have plenty of animal studies suggesting that they're looking pretty good when it comes to improving gut microbiome health. Ganoderma lucidum, also known as the reishi mushroom, has been reported to reduce obesity in mice by modulating the composition of gut microbiota. One study found that this mushroom reduces body weight, inflammation, and insulin resistance in mice who were fed a high fat diet. What's interesting is the reishi mushroom seems to reverse gut dysbiosis. Dysbiosis is an overgrowth of bad bacteria in the gut. Studies actually show that the dysbiosis gets better because metabolites of this mushroom change intestinal barrier integrity, which decreases leaky gut. Another study looking at the white button mushroom, Agaricus bosporus, showed that it can also affect the composition of the intestinal microbiota. This study was done in turkeys, not humans, but nevertheless, it's promising. It showed that the white button mushroom, in fact, is able to improve both growth performance and antioxidant activity. And it also increased the number of lactic acid producing bacteria, which are healthy bacteria, and improved the overall condition of the intestine. And yet another study in mice showed that the shiitake mushroom, Lentinula adodes, was broken down into a prebiotic that ultimately improved the ratio of the good bacteria to the bad bacteria in the gut. Other mushrooms that have been shown to have prebiotic properties that improve gut health are Pleurotus ostreatus, P. sodracaju, and P. abalonis. The black hoof mushroom, Phalenius lintius, Tremetes versicolor, or the turkey tail mushroom, and Heresium arenaceus, or lion's mane mushroom and modern science is so new to this. There are about 380 or more species of mushrooms that are proven to possess medicinal properties. So a large number of prebiotic sources may be discovered and characterized in the future. IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, also known as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, is an autoimmune disorder, meaning it's caused by overstimulation of the immune system. We know that an imbalance in your gut microbiome can play an important role in the development of inflammatory bowel disease. Okay, so we've established a connection between eating some mushrooms and an improvement in the gut microbiome. Let's back up and take a look at the big picture. How does this relate to other diseases? 
First, let's take a look at the immune system. Prebiotics regulate the immune system to promote human health. Prebiotics from lion's mane mushrooms have been shown to improve immunity, which means it could potentially improve IBD symptoms. Another study showed that lion's mane mushrooms protect the intestinal barrier integrity and lessen colitis severity. Mushrooms acting on gut microbiota can also improve chronic pancreatitis. One study found that reishi mushroom could improve pancreatitis in mice by positively improving the composition and diversity of gut microbiota. In case you were wondering, there was an increase seen in Lactobacillaceae, Rosaburia, and Lactobacillus, all healthy bacteria. In a notice, Oblicus, also known as the Chaga mushroom, has also been shown to have a prebiotic effect and improve chronic pancreatitis. What about metabolic diseases? Our world is seeing much more obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disorders than ever before. Our gut microbiome composition has been shown to affect our metabolism, and a good metabolism means less obesity, less diabetes, and less cardiovascular disease. Mushrooms, therefore, indirectly affect our metabolic health. For example, reishi mushrooms have been widely reported to reduce obesity and to correct lipid disorders by regulating the gut microbiota. Another mushroom, Graffola frondosa, you may know it better as hen of the woods, has been shown to decrease body weight and cholesterol in rats fed a high fat diet. It did this primarily through modulating the microbiome and increasing levels of a good bacteria called Buterissimonas. Another adaptogenic mushroom, Antrodia comferata, was shown to produce a resistance to obesity and diabetes in a mouse model eating a high-fat diet. If you're looking for Antrodia comferata, you'll have to go to Taiwan, where you'll find it growing on an endangered tree called the bull camphor tree. Let's wrap it up. In summary, mushrooms are super rich in prebiotic compounds. These compounds can fine-tune gut microbiota to the point that overall health can be improved and diseases can be improved or prevented. We definitely need more specific studies on this, especially when it comes to human and clinical studies. For now though, we can conclude that eating mushrooms will without a doubt improve the microbiome. So eat up and work on packing even more mushrooms into your diet. All right, I hope you enjoyed this super informative video. Please comment below with your thoughts and questions on the information provided today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support and help us to grow, subscribe to our channel. Also, remember to click the link in the description below for $30 off the Ombre Microbiome Test. And thanks again in advance, it really helps support our channel. And if you want to get really nerdy, there's a CSV file you can download which shows all the bacteria they found and the amounts of each. We've had so much fun with that one. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and aloha.